right, we're going to look at exponential growth and decay problems. So, problem one. We have a population of 800 beetles. All right, so we have a population of 800 beetles, and they're growing each month at a rate of 5%. How many beetles will we have in eight months? So, begin with standard form. We have y... I don't know why it's not writing. Y equals A times B to the X. So A is 800. Our rate, our growth rate is 5%. It's going up. So everything starts at 100. So 100 plus 5 is 105%. But B must be a decimal, so this would be 1.05. So I have Y equals 800 times 1.05 to the X. And now I can answer the question, how many beetles will we have after 8 months? So substitute that in for X. And then type this in your calculator. So you have 800 times 1.05 to the 8th power. So that would be 1,181.96. So we wouldn't have enough for the 1,182nd. So you'd have 1,181 beetles. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So, in 2019, our MFD purchases a new fire truck for $750,000. That's A, that's the starting amount. It's depreciating, so it's going down at 5% per year. Once again, we're starting with A, B to the X. So, I have Y equals $750,000. A, it's going down, so I start at 100. I decrease by 5, so that would be 95%, which is 0.95 as a decimal. So I have Y equals 750,000 times 0.95 to the X. So X, how much will it be worth in 2023? Well, figure out how much time has passed. So 2023 minus 2019 is um, four, so four years. And then type this in, so 750,000 times 0.95 to the fourth. It'll be worth 610,879. I get 0.6875. We're talking about money, so I'm gonna round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, take a look at the next ones here. So we have a rabbit, rabbit population. So A equals 123,000. It's doubling, so B is going to be 2. So I will have Y equals 123,000 times 2 to the X. And now X is 10. So now I can replace X with 10. So 123,000, 2 to the 10th is 1, 2, 5, 9, 5, 2, 0, 0, 0. Put your decimals back in, so you have 125,952,000 rabbits. All right, final example. So we purchased a classic car for 15,000, that would be A. It appreciates at a value of 3.5%. So B equals 100 plus 3.5. So that will be 103.5. And then you're going to change this to a decimal, divide it by 100. So you have 1.035%. So I have Y equals 15,000 times 1.035 to the x. 
How much will it be worth in six years? So place a six in for x. So 15,000, parenthesis 1.035 to the six. And that would be $18,438.83. I have eight two nine nine, so that would round to 83 cents. All right, we're playing a game with this tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.